Hello people, I'm Data from JGX and it's time to go back in the Mac Lab with another Mac review. Today we'll talk about the Arctic Wolf, Clan 40 Toner, Omni Mac and Battle Mac. As for the hitboxes, it doesn't offer weak profiles. The Mac is very small and compact and when it turns sideways the arms shield for the torso. So the geometry is pretty good for a 40 Toner. This paired with the very generous survival quirks and clan XL make this mech really tanky. I said uh, battle mech and omni mech because some of these ones are omni mechs so you'll be able to share the omnipods between the variants and uh, some of them are battle mechs. And of course you cannot take pieces from the battle mechs and put them into the omni mechs. As for the agility, uh, the Mac uh, doesn't have very good agility. Uh, this one, like the Arctic Wolf Prime 5272, uh, the agility is uh, pretty low compared to other 40 toners, like for example the Vulcan. The Vulcan is a lot higher, 7583, 7583, and so on. Even, uh, let's say, the Assassin 6676, again 6676, the turn rate 90 on the Assassin, the turn rate on the Vulcan is 105, and the turn rate on the Arctic Wolf is 75. So as for the agility, it doesn't have uh, a great agility, but again it's very small, compact, tanky, clan XL, and it behaves like a gunboat. I'll start from the best one, the way I see it. The best one is the Arctic Wolf P. You don't really need the P, it's just that most of the hard points are there. So for this reason I use the, the P. Six medium pulls. Uh, heat dissipation, five. I do it like this. Uh, six medium pulses. You just change the torso, the left torso, to have jump jets. So you can pop tart with medium pulses. Another very strong one is uh, the prime set of eight because it has a lot of uh, missile ammo capacity, missile cooldown 20%, missile heat gen 10, heat dissipation 5. Uh, so on the prime I run four streak sixes with a light active probe. I think this is one of the best streak boats in the game because it's a very uh, it, it's more agile than the the huntsman uh, and it has thick quirks it's also smaller and it has a good amount of armor so th i think it survives more than the huntsman because armor per sides ratio uh, usually tends to favor smaller mechs i think that most of the smaller mechs are kind of overbuffed in terms of uh, survival quirks. Another strong one is the one. Uh, this is an SRM bomber. Uh, there are many ways to run this. You can just put all SRM6s. I prefer to run four SRM6s and three SRM2s to avoid ghost heat. So I can, I can keep shooting it over and over again. Uh, I prefer more heat efficient build. Of course you can remove the heat sinks, uh, remove the SRM2s and start spamming SRM6s just for maximum alpha, shoot 3 and 2, but you're losing heat sinks and you cannot really alpha strike because the heat actually becomes a problem. Another interesting one is the article of A, of course, uh, even if it is um, an Omni Mac, I would go with a set of eight because of the set of eight quirks. Article of eight as uh, ECM. Nice quirks on the set of eight. Uh, four SRM sixes and two medium poles. It doesn't jump though. The problem is that if you replace the torso to put the jump jets, you lose energy cooldown and missile velocity, and also missile cooldown, target decay duration. I don't know if it is worth to go like this prime left torso these jumps uh, are giving uh, extra weight so I need to put less 
heat sinks, the jump jets make it hotter. I don't know if it is worth it, you can try it. But it's nice to know that on the Omnimac version of uh, this one you can have ECM. Four SRAM 6s and two medium pulses or small pulses if you want a uh, better heat efficiency. Now the interesting one is the two because it has uh, energy cooldown. This one is a battle mech, I think. Yeah, energy cooldown 10. It is a battle mech and it has the energy mounts very high. So you can make a pop tart out of it and use all these heat sinks to give, uh, to give it bet better extra heat dissipation to handle those weapons that it is using. You could try to replace the PPCs with large pulses, uh, get rid of some heat sinks, and add minor SRM backups, but if you are using correctly the large pulses, you're not using correctly the SRMs. If you're using correctly the SRMs, you're not using correctly the large pulses. So I was thinking that you should um, exploit fully the profile of this Mac. It doesn't have jump jets. So you do a high peak with the two PPCs and you exploit the 10 cooldown work. So we have also the Hero One. The Hero One has uh, quirks on ballistics. Uh, cooldown 10%, uh, ammo capacity, high mounts, ballistics. You could try to run it with two Ultra 10s. I don't think the mech is very good because it's slow and it doesn't have jam chance. If you put just two regular AC 10s, it's going to be so and so anyways because it doesn't jump. So, uh, in the end, it is a good mech. <clears throat> Some of those... R, and I think that the best ones are the the P with the six medium pulses and the jump jets. This is one of the strongest mechs in the game. If you use it uh, like a mid range, mid short range pop tart, then you have the Arctic Wolf Prime with streaks. It's very, it's a very strong anti light mech, even for faction play because it's uh, lighter than the Huntsman. And uh, I think that also the Arctic Wolf 1 and A are good. The, the two so-and-so, the hero, I think is just bad. And now that we're done with the review, I'll show you in the testing ground how they handle in terms of heat one by one. is decently hot because I'm using the jump jets but the point is that you should get to a point and peak like this not frontally but sideways like this. and keep doing it you have all the time to pull off this is not a brawler
Target a This was the last one. That's it for today. Thank you guys for listening. If you haven't done that yet, please remember to subscribe to my channel, share the content with your friends. Catch you guys next time.